Okay, here's our last example for hypergeometric distributions, example four. In example four, we have a hat that contains 20 names, and of those 20 names, 12 are female. Well, that tells me that eight must be male. If five names are drawn from the hat without replacement, as soon as I read without replacement, automatically this has to be a hypergeometric distribution. Because if I'm not replacing them, then that is a dependent situation. So, if five names are drawn from the hat, what is the probability that there are at least two female names drawn? Well, right off the bat, I know that I'm looking for female names. That's a success to me. And I'm specifically, I'm looking for at least two female names drawn. So let's set this up by saying the number of successful things here, when I'm talking about female names being drawn, if there's 12 female names, then the number of successful things is 12. The number of unsuccessful things is 8. The number of trials here is 5, because we're drawing 5 names out of the hat. And we actually even have an X value. We need at least two female names drawn. So that means we could have two, we could have three, we could have four, or we could have all five female names. That's what our X values need to be. I don't want to calculate all those though. There's got to be an easier way to do this. And so if I think about it, in our table, in our distribution table, where X is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the only rows or values we don't want here are 0 and 1. That does not mean at least 2. So, we are going to say that the probability that our random variable X is greater than or equal to 2, that's at least two female names drawn, is the same thing, or equivalent to, 100% 1, we're using the indirect method here, minus the probability that x is equal to 0, don't need that case, minus the probability that x is equal to 1, don't need that case either. Okay, let's calculate those two cases now. 1 subtract, what's the probability that we don't get any female names drawn at all? Well, out of the 12 female names, we chose none of them. Out of the eight male names, we must have chosen all five. And out of the 20 names in the hat, total, 12 plus eight is 20, we needed to choose five names in general. Subtract. If we wanted one female name, exactly one female name drawn, then that means out of 12, we must have chosen one female name out of the hat. Out of eight male names, we must have chosen four names out of the hat. 1 plus 4 is 5, and out of 20, choose 5. That did not change. Okay, let's calculate these separately and see what we get. We have 8, choose 5, divided by 20, choose 5, which is 0 0.00361197. And then we have 8, choose 4, times 12, divided by 20 choose 5, which is 0 0.0541796, we'll call it. And when we subtract those numbers from 1, those two values that we do not want using the indirect method, we are left with a 94.22, I hope my math is right there, percent chance <laughs> of this occurring, of drawing at least two female names out of this hat. Why is it so high, you ask? Because there are more female names than male. 12 to 8 is a big ratio, and so there is a high chance of picking two or more female names. So I hope you have a good understanding of this topic, hypergeometric distributions. I wish you luck on your homework practice. I will post it on the classroom for you. Um, this technically ends this unit, and uh, there will be uh, summary and practice coming up pretty soon. Lots of review material for you. 
And while you're working through that review material, you're welcome to uh, log in at one from 1 to 2 p.m. weekdays. Um, if you want to ask a question face to face, or you can send me an email with a picture of anything that's troubling you, uh, let me know. Okay, thanks guys. I hope you're doing well, and we'll talk soon.